Now, if you don't know what that was, don't worry. I'm not going to judge you. It just means you're uneducated about the modern art. And I'm here to educate you all about it. Before we talk the beauty of modern art, let's talk about the old school art. Well, talented people, they come all together. They start painting. They start creating masterpieces, which goes for millions and millions of dollars. And over the years, as humanity improves, each artist got better and better with this. And now we have modern art where people bring ideas out of their ass. Something they did when they were a child. You, you was like, you know what? Let me do this. As you can see from this first art, it is human and ice. Why? Because ice itself is art. Water. You put it in a freezer, it freezes up art. There's so much beauty in the little things in our lives that we don't even know of. And these talented artists are bringing it to light. But leaving the sarcasm, this is modern mental illness. That people are bringing shit out of their asses and they're just going with it. This is what happens when you get too much freedom and you get praise for it. I want to know who are the type of people who come and be like, oh my god, that was so beautiful. I bet the people who are filming this, they were making fun of them. That was the whole purpose of filming it. I don't know what the fuck we're waiting for, but I, I guess that's the whole... Uh, art you put buckets of i don't know what's inside you put on top of each other and becomes a tower eight-year-old me could have done that but hey if you say anything you're going to get canceled because you're making fun of the artist i don't know what the people who are here are waiting for but imagine paying like i don't know fifty dollars for an entrance to a art museum and you're gonna get a live artist show and all you see is a fucking 70 year old man putting buckets on top of each other as if he's in a He's making a sandcastle on a beach. Honestly, the artists who passed away, the, like the old, old ones, Picasso, they're punching walls they're they're fucking confused about modern art right now what i don't know if the talented people they, they like vanished somehow is there like lack of artists that they have to like just go with them even as a museum director or manager why would you allow someone to come into your museum and just ruin the reputation like that like okay guys if you think you have you know you don't know what to do with your life you're lost in life you don't know what professions to pursue if you're in college or high school i recommend you i'm guessing these guys get paid well as well well guys put a rap sheet under you paint your whole body and start rolling around like fucking like you're eight years old so rolling, rolling around just give a random picture on that painting and that is art because if anyone says that is not art Cancel! And coming up with this next one, I don't, I can't really show it, so I'm gonna blur most of it. But this woman, she opens up her legs and starts going 360. <laughs> pure art indeed i don't think this should be in a art museum i think this should be a place in a strip club where real art happens but i can definitely smell the room from the screen i don't even think this is safe over here this is probably in some france or something where they have like nude beaches or something but there's gonna be always that one weirdo imagine one guy at the end he's like just comes to these museums and just like starts like beating his dragon at the back this is extremely creepy and disgusting now i know that sounds gay but it is disgusting imagine a woman just opens up her legs and starts doing 360 in front of you what are you gonna be like oh my god wow vagina wow and i wonder what happens next you know what would be pure art like going inside if i was them and if i was like not planning to be a youtuber 
I would go inside these museums, I will take my arms up and I will put a shaving cream on it and I will take the razor, slow motion while having eye contact with the whole crowd and slowly shave it. Or wait, I have something better. I will shave my pubes in front of everyone and I will be a well-known artist and I will go in history for the man who shaved his pubes in the art art museum <laughs> this is why i say supporting your friends and family no matter what is a very big mistake because if my friend said that she's going to go and open up her legs in you know in a museum because she's an artist i am going to make make fun of her so much that she's going to regret ever thinking of that decision you shouldn't be this supportive towards them what the fuck what the fuck is your family is gonna say oh you're gonna sit at a dinner table you're gonna oh how was your day today oh i did some art oh what kind of art i opened up my coochie and made everyone smell it and there's no way the parents are gonna go like wow that was that's a, such a beautiful thing i am so proud of you At this point, I feel like people are bored, the ones who are coming and watching this. Now, I know you're thinking maybe this is a protest type of thing. No, it's not. It's, it's pure art. What I'm about to show you as well is pure art. Viewer uh, age restriction aggression advised. Another pure talented artist. I'm going to perform an art as well where most of us do this art on a daily basis. If you don't know the definition of art, let me give you the knowledge. Art is something unique that not a lot of people can do. Only a certain amount of people are able to do or perform. For example, you do a, a triple backflip with a bike and you RPG the target in front of you. That's talent. That's art. If you stand up and you shake your leg like that that is no art i just did that does that make me an artist but now art is if you have the courage to go up on stage and embarrass yourself that is considered pure art in 2024 now prepare yourself for this one this is a really big one and i truly believe this is art One fart and they have to call the fire department to come and put the fire out of this place. This one actually I think is a very talented thing to do. I mean sorry, it's a very talented thing to embarrass yourself because it takes a certain amount of courage to put a candle up your butt and you just move it around. And it, to be honest, this is this is a certain set of skills like you need to like squeeze your butt. Like I can't do this personally. Not most of us cannot do this. You have to squeeze it and you have to make sure like it doesn't fall. But I have a question. What if, like, the candle starts melting and the hot water drops in your fucking asshole? I think they cut off the part where the hot water drops on his ass. And he just starts screaming, but his scream is artistic as well. So, it's fine. Now, in 2019, 2020, they came with what? They came with uh, painted bodies. They're, like, put, painting themselves as animals. They're, like, laying down. Then you take food off of their body and eat it. That was disgusting, but we never thought it would get this far you remember john wick uh movies when he came out and in the parties like there was these kind of like naked people you take food off of their body even though that's disgusting but it was still manageable right candle up your butt putting sand castles on top of each other squeezing yourself with a vacuum putting ice on your body that's something else the world was not prepared for this i really believe these kind of people are jobless and bored with their lives that's why they come and do this on like a tuesday afternoon but don't lose hope in humanity because there's still talented people out there who are going to perform modern art like this guy over here fucking mind-blowing it just came out so beautiful that i think this is not real i feel like he kind of like it was already painted and he, all he had to do was crack some places i will pay him to make my face literally on a glass so i can hang it over here this is pure art applause to the artist over here he didn't put a candle up his butt all he used was his feet he crashed the glass and this came out i have no idea why i made this video i just saw a couple of things on twitter and i was like hey let me share it with you I hope you enjoyed the video. 
<laughs> yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take it for yourself. I'll see you at the next one.